Hi, everyone. Uh, so I got a question recently. I was doing an interview and I talked about a story in my new book. I'm so proud of my new book, The Relentless Courage of a Scared Child. And I was telling a story about a lesson that I learned about how sometimes God calls you to help people because the help is for them, but the healing is for you. It's a big lesson that I learned. Um, I had a tendency to disconnect from people in my life. But I got a question recently and the question was, but what about toxic people? Does this mean I should do this um, with all people, you know, in my life? And, you know, I can't answer that for you, but I will tell you sort of how I came to this decision. Um, for me, it was about boundaries. I have boundaries um, because, and I have, I have boundary issues because of the toxic and chaotic environment. Um, that I grew up with as, you know, some of my family members um, not respecting boundaries. So I have boundaries now and I did a lot of work to sort of identify and hone in on what those boundaries mean to me to keep me safe, to keep my family safe. And so if I know that there are people in my family, which there are, that are not going to respect those boundaries, I pay attention to that. Um, so do they argue, lie, manipulate, rage, threaten, or bully? And if they do that in spite of your boundaries, once you've identified your boundaries and laid them out, do they ignore that and just continue to push you and do those things? And for me, if that's true, I don't feel the need to necessarily bring all of these people back into my life or certainly not back into my home because my primary for me, my primary responsibility is to my my child and my husband and to keep my family and my nest safe. And yes, I want to help other people, but there's still a balance there. And that's just how I see it. Um, and there are some people in my life that I need to love from a distance. And that might make me sad. It actually does make me very sad sometimes because there are just some people that can't be a part of my life without creating drama all the time. And I just don't want that for my child and my husband and my family and my marriage. And so that's when I start to love them from a distance, if that makes sense. So while I can't answer that for you, that's sort of my process for doing that. Uh, but you first have to know what your boundaries are and make sure that they know what your boundaries are. So just because you have them, it's, you know, it's only fair to sort of like make, every, make sure everybody knows this is where I draw the line. And it's, you know, it's sometimes it's hard to stick to them, especially when people are, you know, they can be very manipulative. They can create a lot of drama and it's easier to give in, except it's not. Think about with your children. If you gave in to every temper tantrum they had, what do you do? You raise like really spoiled kids. Um, well, these are people who just never learned that lesson. You know, they just, they manage to scream loud enough and somehow people give in or they do whatever it is that they do. Cry enough or whatever. Um, and so if they don't, respect your boundaries, you have a decision to make, right? Are you going to give into it because it's just too painful for you to walk away? Or are you going to love them from a distance and practice self-care? And that's not something anybody can answer for you because for everybody, it's a little different. I highly recommend seeing a really good skilled therapist if you're in that situation. Um, I know that for me, there are many people in my family that I said I would never help and I ended up helping because I really felt God calling me to do that. And that's what I write about in my book, The Relentless Courage of a Scared Child. Um, but there are also people in my family that I, when I try to help them, they can't respect those boundaries. And so I have chosen to love them from a distance. And it doesn't mean you don't love them. I love them. I pray for them. I even occasionally will help them by sending something, but I don't let them inside my walls, if that makes sense. So I hope this is helpful at all. I'm getting lots of waves. Thank you so much. Um, for joining. And I don't know if um, this helps you, but I would love to hear from you. I love getting your questions and your comments. And so um, I appreciate that you watched the interview. And you, if you are interested, you can pre-order the book, Relentless Courage of a Scared Child at relentlesscourage.com. But let me know your thoughts and share this if it's helpful. Thank you. Bye-bye.